Hello my soccer universe, I guess this is the first proper unpacking video I am doing here with my new background and yes it gives it already away a thumbnail also this will be a French one so I put up all the French shirts here and you probably already know already which French team it will be but a little bit background first. How often does it happen that a team qualifies for the Champions League group stage from one of the big leagues that I'm usually talking about on my channel that I don't have a jersey of. Well, this needs to be a small team and yes, this team, Brest, is a small team. There's no doubt about that. However, there's a little bit more to that. The jerseys back there are chosen not by accident. They are all teams of cities that I have already visited, as is this car jersey here. And yes, I'm leaving out PSG because that's the obvious one. Yes, the first one was in France, I was in Paris, of course, fell in love with the city, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, second time I visited proper France. Yes, there's France outside of Paris as well. And, you know, I picked up a couple of scarves and now ever since I'm trying to also get jerseys of teams where I have actually visited the city as well. Kind of the additional memento if you would like. So we have, of course, here Nantes and Rennes. Never forget about Amiens. Beautiful place to visit. And we have of course Reims and Strasbourg, which are probably on everyone's itinerary anyway, if you venture a little bit outside. So the first time I was in France, it was all Normandy and the Bretagne. And yes, Brest is also in the Bretagne. And we didn't really go downtown, but I was in the aquarium. And so, yeah, I once they were in the league, I kind of always said, yeah, it would be nice to have a Brest jersey add to it an additional layer that I have a colleague at work who is from Brest. So that was always something uh, nice to have. And now they have qualified for the Champions League group stage, the best story in Europe of the past season, 23-24. Absolutely amazing story, I gotta say. And it happened so that he, after I think a couple of years, finally visited Brest again, kind of told me that, and I said, you know, I really need a breast jersey. Do you think you can get me one? He said, of course I can. And he went to the store and he got me a jersey from Brest. Start Brestois. By the way, the number 29 here, I'm not trying it, 9 French, it has been too long, uh, does not refer to the founding date because if you look closely, the founding date is 1950. Not the Bene. This is actually the number of the department where uh, breast is in so uh, just as an aside and of course we have here the ermine pattern from the Bre uh, Breton flag. Now which jersey would I get? Because let's face it and if you've watched my jersey reviews I was never fond of the breast home jerseys and yes I usually go for the home jerseys but to me it was all about the sponsors on either the away or the third jersey. Well I gave him two instructions I said get either this or that. Um, maybe you can even choose. Important is that it fits me so XL would be the preferred option. Now he went there I think it was just about the uh, change over to the new kit. So this is still from the season that they performed so well in. And he got me one. And let's see which one it is. Is it the away jersey, the white one? Is it the black third jersey? Which is also quite nice. I, I would say, I mean, it has a lot of franchisms for smaller teams, but let's see. One. Two. It's the black third jersey. They only had it in double XL, so I'm, it's gonna be huge on me. But honestly, I don't mind the loose fit. It has a very outstanding pattern, I gotta say, which makes it a bit more special. I love that sponsor. I know it is huge, but there's a castle on it for crying out loud. And yes, it's Saint Malo and not Brest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> small details if you would like but I think it still looks quite good and yes there are too many sponsors up here but hey I'm from Austria I don't really mind but the pattern is cool I also really like the cross sabers on the bottom you know it's a maritime city so of course there should be sabers a little bit to piracy I think they even have the nickname um, if not the pirates the, Buc the buccaneers or something like that on the back it is blank but of course there are more sponsors as well but you see this kind of crazy pattern which 
kind of makes this jersey a little bit of a standout. And honestly, is it a black jersey? Is it a gray jersey? I actually would argue this is a gray jersey with black accents. In any case, the one thing that I was worried for this one when I saw this on Football Kit Archive is that the crest here will be just uh, like for this Amia jersey, just like a sticker that has been printed on. But I'm very happy to report this is stitched, but it's only the outline, so this will be durable, and I actually am really, really happy about that. So there it is in all its glory. Another League A team edit. There's also another patch here, Association Fait de Bonheur. I honestly don't know what this is. I probably should ask my colleague Glendal for that. But yeah, I'm really, really pleased to have this one. So I have all French teams that have qualified for the Champions League or may qualify for the Champions League as Lille are currently in a qualification round against Fenerbahce where they have won the first leg. So it's gonna be interesting. There was one little detail. I said, if there's an option to add a patch, I really would love to have that one. Now, since it was in a changeover from one season to the other, league, I is changing its logo. So they said, they have the patches, but they're not allowed to put them, which is weird. But yeah, okay, I will probably get at one point a league uh, patch. I didn't want to have necessarily a name set on the back because I probably will wear this one out sooner or later. Let's see about that. Any case, so this is my new Brest jersey. Very happy with that one. Again, thank you, Gwendal, for getting this. I told you already in person, so but thank you also here in public. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!